So the phrasing of the Granados piece is very subtle. You have to be able to know where you're directing your attention in terms of a phrase. Where's the destination note? What am I leaning on? And you have the two G's together. You want to make sure the second G, which is the dotted quarter, the first G is only a quarter, you're going toward the longer note. So it becomes an agogic note. It comes surrounded by shorter note values on either side of it. So the way to do it is, as a springboard, the first note to this. Answer, springboard thumb to this. Three, more here. Answer less. more intensified, it's going higher and it's going to have a little appoggiatura on it. A little less, but now don't fade away. Finally, crescendo starts. Really? What's coming? I use a 3 1 here a little more sound as opposed to we do the five there too now the, it continues into a G flat major which becomes the sixth chord of a modulating key to B minor B flat minor to B flat minor and we come out of this big long note with a fermata on it so you would dip down to this Then this is a new rhythm here. Now this is getting more intensified on Answer, less so. Say that again. That's better. And the memory comes back as a memory. Follow the bass. So you can try things like doing this.
You can always do things like this. Beats uh, with uh, the melody. Mm -hmm. hey. 